Hi everyone, welcome to Nerex channel. Today I'll explain how to use a very useful feature that people are requesting for a very long time. I'm talking about the Z-Modding file transfer. If you don't know what is Z-Modding, uh, this uh, serial protocol for file transfer that was very common and very used, uh, very much used in the 80s and 90s for file transfer over uh, telephone line, uh, over dial-up connection. So, today I will explain how you can use it to transfer files from your computer to Nerex board or vice versa. You can also transfer file uh, from the board to your computer. So, let's start to do that. Open the Linux terminal, enter inside Nerex space, Nerex, clear the previous configuration, executing the command make dist clean. Now we need to configure the basic, uh, we need to do the basic board configuration. So execute two tools configure.sh stm32f4 discover NSH. Now execute make menu config and we need to go inside file system and enable the TMPFS file system. Why do you need to enable uh, the TMPFS in the first place? Well, it is because when you are transfer files, we need to store it, we need to save it in some place in the board. And normally, uh, the system of the board is really only. Uh, when you start the board, you cannot write files on it. So you need to use the tempfs file system to, uh, to get uh, the board with the writable file system. So basically that is it. And now we need to go to applications, configurations, move down until system libraries and NS8 add-ons, and move down until Z-modding uh, command. Enable it. Here uh, we have some configurations that you can uh, change and also some configurations that you need to change. Uh, by default, the Z modding device is the slash dev slash console. Uh, is the same serial port uh, used to NSH com communication with the computer. When you run Minicom, you are using this slash dev to communicate in some way. Uh, actually, it's a kind of um, uh, symbolic link to the real serial driver, that, that is uh, slash dev tty s0 or so. And if you want to use another serial port, for example, let's suppose that you enable uh, UART4 or other uh, serial port on your board, then it will uh, show up in the system like, for example, slash dev tty uh, s1 then you need to change it here, okay? So, but in our case, we will transfer files over serial console, so we don't need to change it. But these three parameters, we need to change. Why? Because by default, the Linux Z-modding command uh, require one kilobyte of memory. So, normally when people use Z-modding, it fails because they don't know they need to change these parameters. So let's increase it to one kilobyte or 1024 bytes, one kilobyte and one kilobyte. Uh, basically, basically that is it. Uh, if you, for example, are using another serial port, for example, TTY SU1, so you need to come here and change the serial number to from zero to one, okay? 
and now we can exit and save and we can exit it make dash j to compile fast uh, faster and now it compiled we can flash the firmware in the board using the open ocd command here i can use stlink we don't need to use stlink v2 anymore because it is deprecated so let's go type the password and it is flashing oh very nice the firmware was flashed we can press ctrl c clear and execute minicom uh, here of course you need to use the usb serial adapter uh, in the pa2 and pa3 pins like i explained in previous videos okay so the minicom will open the tty usb zero port uh, it didn't show anything because we, we need to re reset the board. Press the reset button and it started here. Uh, please ignore the numeric version. Uh, I cloned it and I mess, messed it up with it. So the number became, became confused, but it's the uh, version 12.0.0. So here we have the, uh, the commands RZ and SZ, RZ to receive uh, using Z modem and SZ is to transmitter using Z modem or to send uh, using Z modem commands. So let's see if the slash temp was mounted. Okay, it was mounted. We, we can see the TMP uh, director. Let's to see what is inside it. Okay, there is nothing, uh, it is empty. So now we can run the RZ to receive data that will be transmitted from the computer to the board. Now we need to press Ctrl A, Z and send file. So select S and use the Z modem. Now we need to move down and file, find the file we want to, tr to transfer. This this file here, uh, Nerex logo, that uh, txt. Okay, it's already transferred very fast. Let's see now what is inside slash temp. Very nice, the file that we just transferred. And let you see the size and so on. Okay, uh, almost two uh, kilobytes. And now let you to show the file in the screen okay very nice that's the nerex logo in txt mode mode uh, so guys that is it i hope you had enjoyed this video if you are not subscribed to nerex channel yet please uh, subscribe and if you have some question or comment please uh, put it here in, below in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.